G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, in that last video where I showed you how you can reduce uh, run out error with ER collets, and I showed you some of the uh, ways you can do it, and there are other ways you can do it as well. And I got a lot of comments, and it's got a lot of hits, and yeah, a lot of likes. So, okay, I'll continue on a, a bit more with this. Now, in the comments, uh, I got a comment from a viewer, and whereas I use one of these, a little knocker, to tap work in collets in a position, you know, particularly if it's not the full length of the collet, it might be most of the collet, but not all the way, but anyway, you can make a tap like this up, and it worked well. And anyway, this viewer said he uses a push roller, and I thought, Oh yeah, okay, that's another way to do it, you know, square it up. I mean, you can use a push roller to square up the face, you know, when you do facing and you want to say it's something thin and you're, you're mounting it in the jaws and it can twist a bit. You can use a push tool to uh, square up the face or you can use the back of a cutter, which is <laughs> what I usually do, just... Just use the spin the chuck in reverse and use the back of a cutter will do the same thing. But anyway, I hadn't considered using a push roller to square up working collets by pushing in from the side. And all a push roller is is a a bit of metal in the tool holder with a little ball race, little roller on it, and you just basically wind it in, hold it against the lightly against the work before you tighten up the collet. So I've got to drill the the actual hole for the bolt that's going to hold the little roller in place. And I'm making this so I can use it in the Chinese lathe and also the old Shorblin. And because they've both got collet setups on them. And the bit I'm going to show now is how you go about drilling the hole to get it as straight as possible. You don't want it kicking up this way. You don't want it kicking out that way. Now, to stop it kicking out that way, we've used a, a square to get this 90 degree angle here correct. So I've done that. But this is where people go wrong. They're going to drill the hole, okay? So what do they do? They bring up their workpiece and they do it all with the hand wheel. They use the hand wheel and the rack to drive the job into the drill. Now that's not a good idea. Why is that not a good idea? Well what's happening is all of the pressure is being applied from well below the centre line. The rack is well below the centre line and if you go one step further if the tool post is going to cant back, which is going to, which is what it's going to try and do, it's going to try and pivot back. It'll basically do it on the cross slide dovetails, and that's where generally the weakest part of uh, the, the compound setup really is. It's in the dovetails, and you know there's got to be a bit of bit of movement there, so they can adjust the damn thing. So how do you get around it? Well, it's very simple. Very simple. You bring up your job. And what you've got to do is you've got to apply the, pr the, the pressure directly behind the job, right? On the centre line. You use your tail stop. So bring up your tail stop with a centre in it of some sort. As long as it, as long as it can contact the back of the, of the uh, tool holder. And then you just drive it in with the hand wheel. And that will ensure that you're pushing very, very close to centre line. Maybe right even on centre line. So I'll finish this job now, I'll go on with it. And we'll, uh, yeah, drill our hole. Right, there we go.
piece of cake. Easy as that. So there's a little trick for you to use if you're ever doing this sort of drilling, or you're drilling into a vertical mill slide, uh, or milling into a vertical mill slide with an end mill, you know, you're driving it in, push the carriage and the job into the cutting piece with the tail stop. And that way you'll ensure there's no can't, no cant back with the mill slide or the tool post or the job. It just can't happen. That way you're going to get a perfect uh, 90 degree to the face or the base drill hole. All right, well, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Just another small tip that will make life a lot less painful.